Look at this great speedway from 11 a.m. Those <laughs> seats begin to fill. And now all is in readiness for the 45th annual running of NASCAR's Great American Race, the Daytona 500. That's incredible. And this is our new Fox Fly Cam that travels above Pit Road. You can't get any closer to the action than this. That's going to give us some wonderful shots. What it's going to help us with, really, Mike, is to see when things go wrong in the pits. Budweiser, official beer of NASCAR, proud sponsor of the Bud Pole Award, given to the fastest qualifier at every NASCAR Winston Cup race, Jeff Green. In only his second Daytona 500 is our Bud Pole winner. Since 1979, Anheuser-Busch has awarded more than $8 million as title sponsor of the Pole Award program. Speaking of Jeff Green, we're going to ride along with him for a minute. And uh, DW, see if we can dial him up there. Uh, Jeff Green there. It's DW at my TV tower, but how you reading? I got you, David. Come on. Are you pumped, buddy? Uh, it's pretty darn exciting seeing nothing but the pace car out in front of you. So, just looking forward to today. We've been down, all of us been down here uh, about 10 days waiting for this moment. Uh, and the best thing about it, I got an AOL Chevrolet that can sit over in Vicky Lane when it's all said and done. So, we do all the right things, don't make any mistakes. We'll have a shot at winning this race. What's your biggest concern today, Jeff? What do you got to worry about most? Just on and off pit road, making sure we don't, don't make sure I don't make any mistakes. And um, I know the race car can carry its weight, so we're looking forward to it. Man, I know the whole country's watching today, and uh, particularly everybody up in Owensboro. I want to wish you the best luck today, and good luck, and Godspeed, man. Y'all enjoy it, and uh, we're going to try to uh, carry Owensboro well today. So we'll see what we can do. Youngest of three racing brothers from Owensboro, Kentucky. As you look at our AOL track facts about Daytona International Speedway. Dale Earnhardt, the most stock car victories of any driver in the history of this great speedway. Here's our Napa starting grid for today's race. Jeff Green starts alongside Dale Earnhardt Jr., who's won every stock car race of Speed Week so far this year. In row two, Robbie Gordon, Green's teammate, and Michael Waltrip, the 2001 champion. Ricky Rudd is 26th try to win the 500, and Todd Bodine, his best start ever in this race. Sterling Marlin, the 94 and 95 winner, and Tony Stewart, the Winston Cup champ in row four. Row five, Jeff Burton, the runner-up in 2000, and Jimmy Johnson, last year's pole sitter. Dale Jarrett, a three-time winner of the 500, and John Andretti, who won here in July 95. Jeff Gordon, twice a winner of the 500, and Bill Elliott, also a two-time champion of this race. Joe Nemechek and Elliott Sadler, the runner-up last year. Ward Burton, the defending race champion, and Mike Wallace. Row 10, rookie Jamie McMurray and Jeremy Mayfield. Row 11, Kenny Wallace and Bobby Labonte, the runner-up in 1998 here. Jimmy Spencer and Jack Sprague, the three-time truck champion in row 12. Ricky Craven and Mark Martin, the Winston Cup runner-up last year. Greg Biffle, a rookie, the defending Bush Series champ, and Ken Schrader, runner-up in 89. Row 15, Casey Mears, a rookie, and Kyle Petty, his 22nd 500. Kevin Harvick, who led a lot of last year's race, and Steve Park comes back after missing last year. Tony Raines out of the Bush Series, and Christian Fittipaldi, the Brazilian. Matt Kenseth, who won five races last year, and his teammate Kurt Busch, who won three of the last five. Ryan Newman, last year's Rookie of the Year, and his teammate, Rusty Wallace, in his 21st 500. Dave Blaney, the former World of Outlaws champ, and Johnny Benson. Terry Labonte, his 25th start in the 500, and Jerry Nadeau. Finally, Mike Skinner, who finished fourth in 1999. Those are the 43 cars that will start the 500. Jeannie? Well, when Dale Earnhardt decided to form his own racing team, he turned to a longtime boss, Richard Childress, for help. The two have dominated the Super Speedway since, but who could have guessed, starting one, two, three, and four at the Daytona 500? It started as a family affair, though, lately as the making of a family feud. Matt? Jeannie, it seems like racing and superstitions go hand in hand, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. has his own this week. It started last Saturday night. His car was the last to go through inspection. He went on to win the race. Thursday, his car was the last to go through inspection. He went on to win the race. Today, his car wasn't going to be the last to go through inspection, and lo and behold, car chief and cousin Tony Urey Jr. said there was something wrong with the windshield tear-off. Guess what? 
then finally it was last to go through inspection to dr dick bergen number 29 kevin harvick has one of the fastest cars in the field but yesterday in the final practice session his engine overheated the crew changed that engine rules require that following an engine change the car goes all the way to the back harvick says he can win from the back to Steepers. Since winning the Daytona 500 in 1999, Jeff Gordon's average finish here at Daytona is 23rd in the last seven races. It's been a quiet speed week for this team, and crew chief Robbie Loomis says that's just the way he likes it, Mike Joy. Thanks, Steve. There is Gordon. Set to go midfield. 43 cars, 500 miles. That's 200 laps. And because of the small fuel cell they're using this year, they can't go far on a tank of gas. Yeah, they could almost run double that before, and uh, so a lot of pit stops, a lot of green flag stops. Okay, DW, like I tell you, before every race, reach up there and pull those belts tight one more time. Let's go racing, boys. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Sitter Jeff Green kind of snookered Dale Jr. on the start. Yeah, Dale Jr.'s car didn't seem to want to go. It really was uh, lazy taking off there. I don't know if he wasn't ready or Green was just up on the wheel already. Now, if most racetracks, the lead that Jeff Green has right there would be good, but because that pack's behind him getting lined up, they're going to make a run on him down the back stretch. He's what I'd call a setting duck because they're going to come right up there and get him, and he's going to look like he puts the brakes on when they get to him. You're riding with Harvick, Mark Barton just ahead. They started tail end of the field along with Johnny Benson and Casey Mears because of backup cars. But at the front, they're not going to give Jeff Green this first lap. No, sir. And, and you can see already that there's take no prisoners today. We're flat out racing. Teammates, arrow, all bets are off. Michael Waltrip, he'll lead the first lap of the 2003 Winston Cup season. They talk about teamwork and working together. There's none of that right now. Right now, it's just every man for himself. And I wish you'd look in the back of this pack three wide. We're going to talk a, a lot about that. This racetrack's wide enough for three wide, but the problem is these cars bouncing around, running at 185 miles an hour. A lot of trust when you run three wide. It really is in the air off the cars, and then the wind itself just buffs the cars around, and they're so close together. If they get to bouncing, they bounce into each other, cause a huge wreck, particularly if it's at the front of the field. 190 miles an hour, closer together than the cars in the parking lot. All 43 cars within two and a half seconds of each other right now as we come to complete lap two. Bill Elliott way high, about six on the outside lane in that red Dodge. And these, these drivers are up on the wheel, Mike, and these fans are up on their feet, and they will not sit down all day long. People wonder what makes this the great American race, why people are so excited about being here and watching it on television. Look at that. Ten cars deep, three cars wide, all in a big knot. I'm going to tell you a guy making a move, Mike Skinner in the four car, the Kodak car, he had to start dead last. In two and a half laps, he's up to the 24th position. He's moving up the middle. I'd like to show you where he is, but I can't tell. He's <laughs> somewhere in the middle of the They're all in there. He's in there somewhere. Just trust us. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Whatever position he was in last lap, he won't be there this lap. Man, look Nobody at will. Just look. And it's going to be this way, folks. They're going to drop the green flag, and they're going to race like this all day long. It, it's it's so mental. It takes so much focus, so much concentration. Hey, that was completion of lap three. 43 cars, 39 cars changed position that lap from the last lap. <laughs> what will change this is if several cars get out front single file in a draft. Right now there are just two of those, and it's double or triple file all the way back from there. Little bump drafting. Bump drafting is okay. We saw in the race yesterday. Bump drafting is fine on the straightaway, but please, please don't put that bumper to me going in the corner. Because you're bouncing around, you get a little bump draft, and it's going to cause the big one. Yeah, you'll miss the corner, but you're going to hit the wall. Michael Waltrip, Robbie Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Tony Stewart, the defending Winston Cup champ. And these the drivers, first. these drivers are busy, man. They're all up, they're just steering these cars left and right, trying to keep them off each other. 
And you know, Darrell, what I'm seeing Michael Waltrip in the 15 car do, he's kind of hunting around right now because all week long when the track temperature has been much warmer than it is today, the bottom of the racetrack's been the way to go, but he's moving around a little bit. But I'm going to tell you what, his teammate, that eight car, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he is bringing a group with him. Man, look at him come up on Michael and close. And right here's where he's made a lot of passes all week long, going into the third turn on the outside. 